Good evening. It was a murder that shocked the small mining town of Ajo, Arizona. 16 years ago, 23-year-old Alejandra Molina was brutally murdered in her mother's home. Detectives say they know who the killer is. They just need to find him. In tonight's Crime Trackers, News 4 Tucson, Lupita Murillo has more on this cold case. In 2003, social media wasn't what it is today. So Pima County Sheriff's detectives say that the man responsible for murdering 23-year-old Alejandra Molina, his picture and her story are now on the internet for the world to see. This is called uh, Alejandra's Wings. Anthony Molina was only eight years old when his mother was murdered. I remember my mom a lot. I remember her voice, the way she always called me by my middle name, whether I was in trouble or not. Molina, now 24, also remembers her being kind, warm-hearted, and a great mother. He now has a son of his own. His younger brother, Eduardo, was just two years old. I don't have really any memories of her at all. But he's heard about her from family and friends. She was a really outgoing person. Like, she liked to play a lot, a lot, a lot of music. She was just full of energy. Pima County Sheriff's homicide detectives say this man, Manuel Lozano, is responsible for cutting her life short. Right now the Sheriff's Department has a felony warrant out for the arrest of Manuel Lozano in reference to a homicide in Ajo, Arizona. March 23rd, 2003. These are crime scene photos News 4 Tucson obtained. A detective who processed the scene says it was very bloody. The Fugitive Investigative Strike Team. Uh, and the U.S. Marshals assigned to uh, locating Mr. Lozano. Molina was murdered in her mother's home. So the scene was pretty horrific and it had appeared um, that she had died from blunt force uh, injuries. She was taken from us in our own home, the place where she should have been the most safe. Victorina Patel had just returned from visiting her husband in India. I remember just sitting there on the floor with my mom. Crying with her, because they know that's where she was last. Patel says they knew of Manuel Lozano. We didn't know him as an acquaintance. She adds people around town told her they would see him trying to approach her daughter for dances and drinks. She would reject him and, and just hide in the bathroom hoping that he would leave. Detectives say. Our investigation shows that there's conflicting information in regards to their relationship. Patel is on a mission to find the man who is responsible for her daughter's death but she's thankful for the last conversation with her daughter. At least I had the opportunity to hold her one more time and to tell her that I love her, to have her, to hear her tell me the same thing. Anthony and Eduardo have a message for Manuel Lozano. I hope you rot in hell for what you've done. I will just tell him that when his time comes, he's gonna have to face God and he's got something waiting for him. It's believed Lozano may be in Texas or Mexico. If you have any information, you are urged to call 911 or 88-CRIME. So that way we can uh, give the family the peace that they need. At the Pima County Sheriff's Department, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.